We are cooking up a storm this morning. Chef Todd Bowman of the Lakeshore Culinary Institute in Sheboygan joins us with some great recipes for any Packers party that you have planned this weekend. Thank you so much for being with us. Glad to be here. And thank you for bringing bacon. Bacon makes everything better. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you're going to be making. Why don't you tell everybody? We got some good stuff. We got bacon, like you said, and then uh, we're using some stuff from my garden. So we're taking a play off jalapeno poppers and we're going to use a poblano pepper that we grew in my backyard. And uh, stuff that, wrap it with bacon, and cook it up. So. And I have to say, first, I was like, I like your jacket. And you said, you don't get to wear it that often, you right? Want, you don't want to make something like this dirty. So. No. <laughs> you got to keep the Packers all clean. So why don't you tell us the steps and what you exactly. need for it? What we're doing, we kind of start with the ricotta cheese here. A little bit of ricotta that's been whipped, a little seasoned up a little bit. And then we're going to add some cheddar cheese, uh, some black beans. This is where we kind of get off of the jalapeno popper idea. Okay. Add a little bit more to it. Uh, some kale, because Kale is the thing of everything right now. Put it in our smoothies every morning, yeah. use it anywhere I can. Interesting. And then a little bit of cilantro. Use all that. And then we have some cumin and some chili powder. And a touch of salt and pepper in there. We're just going to kind of get all that stuff to mash together. The fun part here is uh, trying to fill the peppers and keep the bacon in one place. Yes. So we're trying to get to that part. <laughs> Very important. You know what I think the kale would do too? Even though the peppers might have a little crunch, that kale could add a little something exactly. to it. Exactly. And the beans, you know, you get a little bit, little bit more body than just some cheese in there. Oh, yeah. So then, once you got our stuffing, I'm just going to take it and kind of put it in the half of the pepper that we cleaned up here. And My take beans. our bacon. I found it works best if you start on the fat side and just wrap it nice and tight. Oh, my. And that's a whole strip of bacon on each one, so. Yay. <laughs> hey, that's okay. Toothpick through there to make sure everything stays together for us. We can do a couple of those. And then uh, there's two ways to do this. Uh, grill is awesome. Okay. Um, turn out really nice that way. Uh, just make sure after you sear them off, you get them to the side of the grill where there's no flame underneath. Or you're going to flame up and kind of burn everything down. Um, the other way is an oven about 350, 375 degrees. Okay. Let them go for about 20, uh, 20, 25 minutes. And. P.S. Smells amazing in here right now. Yummy. This is what we end up with. I gotta stop Thing clapping. Of I'm beauty. Like, <laughs> Tom, yay! Thank you. Oh wow. So you can see, it, you know, peppers are wrinkled up a little bit, softened up, and then the uh, bacon's nice and crisp, melty mm. cheese in there. Yeah, plate it up for us. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Really a great game day recipe. I know we have those recipes online for you. Go to fox11online.com, click on Good Day Wisconsin. Don't go anywhere. Todd's going to be back in the 8 o'clock <laughs> hour making some more yummy food.